So do you want to create cool cinema graphs like these? Well, let's see how to do this in Resolve. Okay guys, let's go into the creation of the cinema graph. First we want to get a clip. So I'm going to go ahead and select this clip. I'm going to trim it to the section that I want to capture. Next thing you want to do is duplicate it. So control C, control V. Now I'm going to find exactly where in the clip I would like to freeze it. Right there, right click, go to change clip speed, freeze frame. All right, so it changes the entire clip to a freeze frame. Now I'm just going to put this one on top. Okay, so now let's go into the Colors tab. We're going to come in here to the Windows. We're going to select the Curve. And now what we want to do is draw an outline. Let me turn this off to maximize this. Of the section that we want to continue to move. All right, so now I'm going to right-click here, Alpha Output. Connect that up. I'm going to invert this. I'm going to add just a little softening just in case uh, there was a little movement. Let's go into full screen mode. We can see the effect right there. Okay, so that looks good. So let's say that we want to shoot uh, something with a drone. Now I'm going to go in here into the color section, tracker. Go to Stabilizer, Perspective, Camera Lock. So we're going to stabilize this clip first. Okay, it's done, so let's go back into the Edit section. And what I want to do now is create a copy of this clip. So, all right, so I'll go back to the first clip, and I'm going to try to find a location which I want to freeze. I want this top section frozen while the bottom section uh, continues to move. So right there is fine. We're going to go ahead and change clip speed, freeze frame, change. I'm just going to move this on top. Okay, so now what I want to do is select the top clip and we'll go back into the color section. I'm going to do the same thing with the, the mask. We're going to go select All right, so there we have it. And if we play that, it should loop pretty well for Instagram. I, I've got the person starting behind the trees, and then he ends at the tree. So you'll kind of see a, a pretty nice loop there. So that's all you have to do. If you got any questions, please leave those in the comments below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe. Peace.